Welcome to the Professional Services Microworld. This is a so-called serious game about the strategic challenges facing what are known as professional service firms, large firms offering accountancy, legal or consultancy advice, for example. This is the page that you will arrive at when you first access the game, and it's where you manage the games that you've got and start up new games. The section showing your professional services games will initially be empty until you create some of these for yourself. Lower down the page, you have the option to start one of the built-in strategic challenges for the game. Each of these is a business that's already been running for some years and has been put into a certain state from which you try to develop a strategy to take the business forward. Simply hover on the More Information button to find out more about each of these challenges. You also have the option of creating a new game when the business is starting right from the beginning. So to get started, click on one of the challenges and the game screen itself opens up. The game has already been given an initial name. You may want to change that with the uh, drop down list at the top, rename or create a copy, give it a name and optionally some more information in its description and either update that name or create a new copy. This is useful, for example, if you want to try different strategies from a certain point in time in the game. The top left button is also where you go back to the games list. Do note that there is no save option on the game for the simple reason that games are always saved on the SD Games server. This means that if you have any connection problems, there's no risk of losing any information. You simply log back in and you'll be able to go straight back to your games once again. Next to that, you'll see buttons to give you access to reports, charts, tables, and uh, some other features. And to the right are the controls where you actually play the game. The game works by making a series of decisions about staffing, client growth, and the firm's knowledge base. And having made those decisions, you click the forward button to run the business forward for a year. Now, in order to do that, you will likely want to see some information about the business. So start by looking at some of the information about staff and workload and maybe look at charts on what's happening to the number of clients. You can resize these charts by dragging them on their corner and you also find some useful reports available. This is a summary balance scorecard type report with uh, traffic lights indicating things that are in uh, good state and not so good. One of the important reports is the uh, ratios report, which gives you information about how the firm is currently making money. Under the others category, there is also a special report we call a resource map, and this shows the numbers for all of the key features of the business and also shows all of the interdependencies between them. Do note, however, that uh, it is possible that your instructor has actually disabled this report in order to see how well you can do with standard reports, charts and tables alone. Tables give access to time series data. If you click a table heading, you'll see an explanation for the item and the option to directly create a chart from that table column. You can also create charts directly from items on the resource map. Simply click the item you want to see charted. You have the option of choosing which columns are displayed. And you can also extract the data and save it as a spreadsheet file. Making decisions and playing the game is straightforward. You simply revise decisions in the decision box to the left. And when you're happy with your decisions for the coming year, you click the forward button to move the business forward one year. All the reports, charts and tables update. And if you don't like the result of what you've just done or want to try something different, you have the option to go back. You can also change the number of years if you are happy with a set of decisions that you think will be sustained for some time. You can go forward five years or 10 years with the same decisions each year. And if you click the go back button, you'll go back the same number of years. Finally, you can restart the same game again. If you want to start a new game, click on the top left button and go back to the games list. Let's restart this challenge and see if we can grow the business for a few years 
and at the same time keep the quality of work we do for our clients good and keep paying good bonuses to our partners. Here's what's happened to the number of clients so far. Let's target a bit more growth. To support that growth we're going to need to promote more managers. We're going to need to promote more consultants to become managers. And we're probably going to need to do a lot more hiring. Go forward one year. Client numbers are growing. Go forward one year. Client numbers are still growing. Let's see if our quality of work is okay. Quality took a dip a couple of years back, but is now improving again. And how about the bonuses paid to our partners? Unfortunately, whilst we've managed to get the growth going pretty well and the quality of work is okay, our partners seem to have suffered a rather sharp decline in the bonuses they're getting. The desktop can readily become rather cluttered, so under the Others button you have the option to close all the charts, close all the reports, close all the tables or close everything. And you also have a game notepad where you can make notes about what you've done. Those notes are saved along with the game and will be available whenever you reopen it in future. So thank you for watching this demonstration and we very much hope that you will enjoy playing the Professional Services Microworld.